In this short video, we'll show you how to share files and folders within Switch Secure Workspace. You'll also learn how to continuously manage access to that content, helping you maintain control of your secure information in real time. To start, navigate to your workspace address and sign in with your Switch ID. Next, find the zone which contains the content you wish to share. To share a file in the zone, simply find the file and select the share icon. The share dialog box will pop up and here you can add the email addresses of the users you wish to share with, as well as send them a message with the sharing link. After adding the users you wish to share with, choose the permissions that the user or users will have when accessing the file. For example, give them permissions to view and download the content, or restrict them to only being able to view it. You can then optionally set an expiry date, after which time the file will no longer be accessible. Afterwards, press Save Changes and the recipients will receive a quick share link to the content. If you want to manage how you are sharing a file, click on the Share icon again and then press the Manage Existing Links tab. This will display the users the file is currently being shared with. From here, press the revoke button to revoke access to the file immediately. Press yes when asked to confirm, and any users of that specific quick share link will no longer be able to view the content. To create a folder in the zone, select new and then choose folder, then give the folder a name. To move a file to the folder, go to the File Action menu and choose Move. Choose the folder you want to move the file into. When the folder is created, press the Share icon to bring up the Folder Sharing menu. Add the email addresses of the users you wish to share with, and then choose the permissions that they should have when accessing the contents of the folder. For example, give them limited access so that they can only view the content in the folder, or give them full access to enable them to view, download and edit the content. Choose whether to send the invitation by email, and optionally write a message to go with the invitation. Click share and close when you're ready to share the folder. Existing folder shares appear on the other side of the folder sharing dialog box. And here you can change the user's permissions for accessing the contents of the folder or revoke access to the folder completely. Access is revoked in real time. Back in the main zone window, choose the Manage Shares tab to see an overview of the folder shares within that zone. Each folder share here has a Manage button, which takes you to the folder sharing dialog box, where you can share with new users or amend existing shares. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video useful. If you require further information, please visit egress.com.